I don't feel like I'm done. This angle that I had to switch to, I know it's a lot. It's a lot. But we're going to work with it. We're going to just work with it. Mm -hmm. Queen of Swords energy. That actually reminds me of making sure that the women remain in their feminine energy. You can still hold your sword, but with your feminine energy. You know, not being so masculine that you end up passing up on the divine masculine. Making sure you let them know that there is room for them. That you do need them. That there's room for them. This is dawn. That dawn energy. We ride at dawn. Yeah, because it's like... They can't come and do anything if they feel like you got it covered. For the females, if you if you're like completely in your masculine energy, they can't come to you. Dawn. Something about dawn. And time, the time, what is that? The dawn of time? The time of dawn? Okay, there's something to do with that. The break of dawn? So that's gonna, that's gonna mean something for some of you. The break of dawn. Oh, shit. I just heard making love until the break of dawn, too. Okay, so I see that, you know, when the feminines open up, you know, it releases that mindset of feeling like you don't need them and they're able to move towards you. They're able to also move away from... feeling stuck, feeling like it's hard to decide what to do. It's like as soon as you remain in your energies, of course, in balance with both, but in your feminine essence and masculines, you the same. You guys are going to be a match for each other. What am I seeing here, though? Four of Swords, surrendering. Surrendering to how you feel, surren surrendering the sword, but also surrendering I feel you not speaking your truth hurts them the most because I'm seeing one sword right here you see how this sword is in too deep is in the deepest right in his heart and that's that you know ace of swords I'm seeing just one sword and it's in reverse so make sure when they come to you you say how you feel. So they don't feel like they came all this way for nothing. I'm seeing them go on a long journey. You know, they're, they, they could even have children that they moved. They moved with. They moved towards you with. So it's like, you know, nobody wants to go all that way. Just so you don't say how, just for you to not say how you feel. Or vice versa, okay? You going towards them, whatever it is. Yeah, look at that. Restricting yourself. 
not saying how you feel. Even though you feel this strong bond, this strong connection. This raw nakedness. It's like a lot of passion for this person and somebody they would want to keep they would rather keep it to themselves but i'm also seeing this resurrection of the celebrations this could be someone that you already knew someone that you've seen before maybe you've seen them at a party maybe you've seen them at some sort of gathering and maybe at that time they were chained to someone else. Both of you were possibly in a, another relationship. And I feel like you guys are getting another second chance. The divines are intervening and bringing you two together. Look at that. Now she has her sword up and ready. She's ready to make a move. And it's going right on the ten of swords, that painful end, that rock bottom. You know, the, um, you're not having room and now you're ready because the divines intervened. You know, they probably showed you sign after sign and it's like they're home now. They came home. There's a spark. <gasps> the mo oh, with the, com the confirmation. Mo -oh. oh my gosh, there's a spark. So her speaking her truth creates this new adventure. Look, she's no, she's facing it. She's facing how she feels. And he's facing it as well. He's welcoming it with open arms. She's hopeful. He's hopeful. They're ready to... They're ready. Look at that. That's what we've been talking about is meeting each other halfway. And they're both ready. This person could even have a dog. They could be someone who travels a lot. Oh, shit. <laughs> say how you feel. Just say it. Ah, look, he's trapped in his head. <laughs> Because he knows he has to say something too. Stuck in his head, wish he said more. See, that's that Ten of Swords. So it's like the feminine gets ready. And he's ready, he's hopeful. But maybe he doesn't say what, say how he feels as well. thinking about you i see he's up late at night thinking about you or if this is you masculines you know i'll flip it okay <sighs> oh he's up late at night thinking about you lust a lot of lust you've seen they feel a lot of passion for you late at night they fantasize about you they have dreams about you that keeps i'm seeing they fantasize you about you so much it keeps them up at night. Oof. Oh, shit. Look at that. Mm. Ready to honor his emotions as well. Honoring how he feels. So I also feel like, you know, coming out as just the queen of swords... Could also be a little frightening to them. And it makes them. It makes it hard for them to say what they need to say. So that's why they had to like. I'm seeing them trying to gather their thoughts. Like okay I got this. I got this. Let me balance out my emotions. We got off at a rocky start I see. Okay, I'm ready now. I know we started off, it started off rocky. Wow, but I'm ready to make a wise investment. I'm ready to make a move. I'm ready to do it differently. 
He suited up. He suited up and ready. But this is also someone who could be a boss. So they're really trying to focus on work right now too. Mm. Mm. I feel like even them... They had to maybe travel somewhere for work. And what did I just see? They had to travel somewhere for work. <sighs> Can't think of what I just seen. And there was no communication, maybe. Oh, gosh. The end. Somebody thought it was the end because they left. But they were just trying to balance out and control their emotions. Maybe they're experiencing a tower moment. Because they possibly could have still been dealing with someone from their past. So they're trying to balance out their emotions so they can come to you in alignment. Or you go to them when you're in alignment, when you're healthy, when you're not crying every time you hear the fucking song. <sighs> it went out this way. Let me just fix it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow, now they can reciprocate. Now they can be generous because maybe back then it was the two of cups. There already was that deep soul connection, but it just wasn't the right time, possibly. Wasn't, wasn't in the right frequency to match that. And now they are. Now you are. Yeah, those rocky starts. But, you know, everybody got their own thing, too. They have to focus on maintaining their health so they can still go to work, you know, and not be so consumed in a relationship that it fucks with the money. Because we need money to survive, you know? Wow, look at that. Coming back home. Now they're ready. Now they're ready. That's what they were trying. That's what they were working on. They were trying to make sure they have everything ready. They didn't want to come empty handed. <laughs> they wanted to come as the star. They wanted to make sure they were healed first. They wanted to make sure they manifested their wishes first as well. They wanted to make sure they loved their rawness. Man, that's so beautiful, you guys. All right, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I do see some uh, separation that they were going through overwhelmed wow wow the hard work we love can leave us feeling burdened drained burnt out among other things so it's like it's becoming overwhelming the signs Maybe they're mm, they're coming if they're not already there stuck. I was feeling that maybe they're still stuck on someone from the past. Maybe you're still stuck on someone from the past. Yeah, attached. Attached, but it feels like a burden to them. It feels overwhelming. Because they're feeling stuck. 
because they can't get to you. They have to have the courage. Somebody has to have the courage to possibly walk away from a situation. Look, look at that crossroads. I'm trying to decide which way to go. I just heard you know. You know which way to go. Dream. You probably had a dream about this person. They had a dream about you. You already seen. Oh my gosh. What was that? Because it keeps collaboration. But I'm going to put that back. Because it keeps like opening up and then closing. So that could be what it is too. Maybe they're like going through a breakup. They go. They get back together. Go through a breakup. They start to open up. And then they get back to being stuck. And I feel that this could be like a past life connection. It's like as soon as they know that you're moving on, they try and come in with some bullshit to keep you stuck. What is that? Have the courage to see the lessons in all situations. Face them constructively. Mm -hmm. That's the courage, right? Being brave. Cycles, the wind blows, the wheel turns, we go through cycles just like nature because we are a part of nature. So trust in the cycles, trust in how you feel. This is a collective reading, so it may or may not resonate. If you want to book a personal reading, you're more than welcome to DM me. Check out that information in the description box. I love you all so much, suns and waters, and I trust you all. Wow, that's what I picked it up to the magician. What's hiding? What's lurking? Oh my gosh. And the three of cups. I trust you are manifesting everything you want. I trust you are, are connecting with people that are vibrating just as high as you are. I love you. Aloha.